There you are. What are you working on? We got these step covers for those um, entry steps so that the dogs have a little bit more grip when they're going up. That metal is a little slick on their claws. And then one of our dogs seems scared that he can see through the back of the stairs that is just open back there. So somebody suggested we put this on the back side so that it kind of looks like the stairs and maybe that will encourage him to go up and down so we don't have to pick up the 100 pound dog, toss him in the RV. What's the weekend? That means it's project day for the uh, for the moving into the RV. Uh, we are changing our video format just a little bit. We're gonna just kind of bring you guys along for everything instead of try to think through a full on video. So these the time frame on these videos is gonna be closer to three, four, five days, maybe even a week. So today's project day. We worked on some stuff yesterday. I got the uh, the little update video shot and edited so far and Lauren's working on that project. We have our first visitors coming for the RV today. <laughs> and your mom and little sister and her boyfriend. So probably not gonna be on camera, but they haven't seen it in person, so they're going to. But uh, here we go in this new format, which is really odd because I don't have like a shot list or a script or anything. So a lot more editing for Ryan. Her foot's cramping, she's gonna stand up now. So the first three steps were really easy. <laughs> But this top one's a little more problematic because there's a solid surface there. So Lauren's trying the Jimmy rig, essentially a zip tie system to hold it in place. And then there's where we're talking about putting that carpet so that the, they can't see through. So it seems even more solid and less terrifying, I guess, to go in the rig. All right, so there's the finished product. Uh, it's essentially those four Camco steps. We zip tied the top one since it's a little bit wider. And then it's just a piece of outdoor carpet uh, cut to size and then velcroed onto the back. So it should, at least from their angle, look a little bit more solid. Hopefully. Are we ready? Are we Are ready to test out the new you digs? ready, buddy? This is the dog that will not climb the stairs. Klondike. All right. Shit. Still now? Come on, buddy. Good boy. There he goes. Good boy. Those back legs just don't work, do they? Oh, my goodness. Come on. All right. Let's go. Let's try it again. Oh, straight through. Good boy. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Pull my butt, Mom. <laughs> So if you have a dog that has this problem. Oh, all right, all right. I'm gonna take this. So with Klondike, I think what we're gonna have to do is just continuously help him. So he's gonna need to, we're gonna need to help him get up and down those stairs for a little while until he gets used to it. And he's an older dog and he has a little, you know, he's a little weak in his back end and he's a bigger dog, but we're on the right path, right bud? Yeah. So like we said in the other video, we did order a new mattress, but in the meantime, here's a little hack. We had a queen inch and a half memory foam that we used to take to other horse shows when we rented trailers, that kind of stuff, just to help out with the kind of even worse mattresses. Well, so we put that down. This is an RV King, so it's 72 by 80. Uh, but what we did is we put the queen size mattress or this way. So there's a little bit of a gap here at the bottom as well as at the top, but from our shoulders to our hips, we'll be covering that, that. Plus we got both of our sleeping bags and we actually rolled them out here and then we put a sheet over it. We're just trying to create a little bit more of a softness to it. So just to kind of buy us time while we wait on the, uh, the new mattress to get here, which we're very excited about many hours later all right so things just arrive constantly at this point so a few more things have gotten here one of them a necessity one a little bit more fun um, but one thing we haven't talked about yet is what we're going to do for a inline 
a surge protector, EPO, that kind of stuff for the rig itself. We decided to go with the Hughes Auto Transformer Power Watchdog. Um, I, I feel like every single one of those things has some deficiencies and some bonuses. So this one, I don't love how it's not necessarily a sealed connection uh, like on some of the other ones, but I do like that it has the app so you can really see what exactly is going on. So that's what we went and let's go inside the rig to see the other thing. All right, so if you know me, that's no surprise. I'm a big, big, big fan of electronics. My camera gear, you guys, uh, TVs, that kind of stuff. I'm settling with, golf salsa on shocker. Um, I'm settling with the TCL that came with it. I tweak some stuff, it's perfectly fine. Um, is it the best picture ever? Nah. I will say too, the Rodford Fosgate speakers that are attached to it, kind of a pain because there's not a way to have the remote control the audio, or the, the, like the volume. So I went ahead and got the Bose Solo 5. It was on sale because the Solo 6 came out. And to be honest, I didn't really see a reason why I needed to not do that uh, over the 6. So I'm gonna do that and then I have it a mount right here. And the idea is I'm gonna just mount it right beneath the TV Nice and nice and easy is the idea there. So I'm going to get that set up and uh, show you a little bit of that. All right. I think that's going to do it for projects from us today. Soundbar turn. It looks good. I mean, so one of my big pet peeves. Yes, that's our video. One of our big pet peeves is when these sit down here and you see all the cables and stuff. So I found this mount that works out nicely uh, right there. So. Um, yeah, it sounds a thousand times better. Um, still not as good as some of the bigger systems you put in a home, but considering that's the whole thing, I'm happy with it. So, like I said, that's probably going to do it for <laughs> uh, projects for us today. If we do, I'll record them. If not, we will see you guys in a few days. Three days later. Welcome back. It's a few days later. A couple of things have updated on this fun little week of getting stuff done to get the house sold so our new solitude as you can see is all buttoned up actually kind of hooked up uh, it's hooked up but i still have the jacks down just to kind of leave air pressure we are having professional photos done today of the house so the solitude is going to have to move for a little bit and by move i mean it's just going to go up to the very front and then it's going to back back into its position so not far not a lot but it does have to move a little bit uh one fun kind of thing happened so we got some pretty bad rainstorms last night so we went ahead and kind of shut her down just to kind of seal everything up and not worry about it but let me show you one thing so this is our kind of suicide door right beneath our bedroom slide also where the wet bay is on the on the service side uh, and this morning there was a bunch of water right here so we're gonna have to do our first modification out of the gates and and after looking at it uh, there's these little metal kind of clamps that the latches grab onto and this latch is a little loose and then on top of that uh, I think this is not set in the exact right position so I'm going to take that off and kind of retighten it and if that doesn't work I saw somebody take a little bit of a modification that not much just a little L bracket of aluminum and kind of get it to just kind of go a little deeper because what's happening is so what's happening is when this portion of the door latches it doesn't you don't get a very good seal see how that's coming off so the idea is that I'm gonna tighten this whoops I'm gonna tighten that and then if that doesn't work I'll get a little bracket for this and we'll go from there so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one all right, guys, welcome to a few days later since last time you saw this guy right here. Fixing stuff. I got a surprise work from home day, so we'll show you why in a minute. But we are going to take this opportunity to kind of insert some breaks where we can take some of the stuff from the house that we want to move to the rig and kind of run that over and be productive while I'm trying to work from home. And let's go take a look at why I'm home today. Yikes. So surprise ice day. We can't really call it a snow day. It's not snowing, but it did drizzle and sleet and now the roads are solid ice. So we're gonna skate across with our pots and pans over to the rig. <laughs> All right, well, we're trying to essentially move in our kitchen on Lauren's homework day. Mm -hmm. So we're starting with some of the pots and pans we know that we can use from our house. 
we might have to buy a few things here and there, but we're trying to limit all that, at least initially, yeah. uh, and knowing that our plates and our bowls and that stuff, they're ceramic, so they're not going to be able to come literally at all. But yeah, we're going to start moving stuff in. We've already done a few things. We've got some cleaning supplies in the sink over there. We've added the Keurig, so, which by far was probably the most important thing we've done <laughs> so far. Uh, big thank you to my parents for the little housewarming gift, I guess. Uh, that just randomly showed up at the house, so we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, let's move right. stuff in somewhere, some way, somehow. All right, well, while we were working, we realized that the heater was not necessarily working properly. And then everybody said, you're going to buy an RV and things are going to break. Nothing technically broke. It's just our inexperience. So I'm not going to go outside and show you mainly because it's still like 20 degrees outside. But uh, we ran out of propane in one of our tanks, which we knew was getting low. And it automatically switched over to the other side. Well... I flipped the knob on the propane controller to run off the other side and get a reading and I didn't I forgot to close the valve on the empty tank so I was trying to pull from both still and not enough essentially too much air got in the propane line and the heater didn't have enough gas to work so that's what happened it was a really easy fix there's a more complicated version but I just made sure to turn off the the tank or the bottle that is empty and that made sure the other one was on and then I bled the lines to the stove a little bit and I reset the thermostat. So I turned it off, let it sit for about five minutes, turned it back on. And now, and that's an electric fireplace, by the way, to kind of help out. But there's a, there's a vent right here, right there. And so I've just been sitting here making sure. And now it is blowing warm air again. And it's warming up as we go. So crisis averted in the very low temperatures. Today's the first day we're actually going to try and bring the rig up to a normal temperature for us, which is going to be at least into the 60s. Uh, we don't get these very often in North Texas, but they can happen uh, from time to time. So bringing the temperature up, going to kind of keep plugging away. Lauren went back inside to get another load. We're going to keep working and hopefully get to about 47. Started off at 40, so 47 is nice. A long day. <laughs> long day. So we've probably got, I don't know, 50, 60% of it loaded, you think? Yeah, a little more than half. But we, uh, we kind of buckled down, didn't really film a whole lot while we were doing it, just because we pretty much got... Most of our closet in mm -hmm. here, most of our bathroom in here, and yeah. probably about 60-70% of the kitchen. Yeah. And there's just a bunch of random stuff. So we really were just trying to get ready for the next little trip, which is only a quick little weekend thing. But it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. <laughs> um, so, but what we're going to do, Lauren's going to take you around and mm -hmm. kind of just show you what we've done, where we've put things, just kind of as a basic broad overview. And this is probably the mm -hmm. last time we're going to really show you guys mm -hmm where we're doing stuff once we get settled all the way in we'll do an official big yeah. rig tour Sounds once good. we've done all of our modification stuff so with that being said take it away start in the kitchen all right so up in the kitchen we got some of our Ow. all right so starting off in the kitchen we got a bunch of our bakeware and pots and pans and stuff brought in We got our cutlery, our plates and bowls. Can you see them? The fancy stuff. We got our fancy china today. <laughs> and then we didn't bring over all of our utensils. Um, and so just, there's nothing in that drawer yet. There we go. There's some utensils. <laughs> we'll get there one day and then we'll find out. We'll remember what all we put on here. Um, down here, there was an intent to install that trash can on a slider so that it comes out whenever uh, you need it we can put dog food in one trash in the other but there's a lip right here uh, it's almost an inch tall and that means the slider doesn't roll out so we still have to go get some shims or something to get that up off the ground so it will slide all the way out every time you say roll out to that ludicrous song pops in my head roll out dun, dun. I'm move on now. we're a little tired <laughs> Didn't do much um, over there otherwise. In here we got our Instant Pot and my, it's like a Dutch oven, it's cast iron ceramic coated, but this thing makes wonderful soups and stews and risottos. You can put it in the oven, you can put it on the fire. I love this thing. And yes, it weighs a lot, but priorities. Thanks Mark and Steph. <laughs> Probably not even watching. And then this had to come. We brought this over from the house. I actually got that for Ryan for a birthday present one year. And so really cool, um, nice big quality. You can carve meats on there, uh, nice decorative piece. So really wanted that to come too. And I appreciate it coming because that means I get the barbecue at some point. Yes. 
in here. Ta da! Not much. <laughs> this will eventually be food and pantry. We just haven't gotten there quite yet. Right. So, I think, let's see here. Oh, yeah. You want mini muffins? We can make mini muffins now. You see that? <laughs> Basically, that's code for pans that didn't fit anywhere else. Right. But we can have this drawer down here where you can make regular size muffins. So now I can make you mini and regular muffins. And that's all that fit in there. That's all that fit. We'll get there one day. All right. Let's go to the bathroom. This, this in the bedroom is probably where we did the most damage today. The bathroom, I mean. Oh, coat closets. Uh, just open, yeah. We put coats in coat closets. Those are shorter than you might think. And just to prove it, there's one. <laughs> All right, so in here, we're still working on it, but got a bunch of stuff up there. Ryan did the same thing over there, you just can't see it. Got my hair dryer, straightener, all that good stuff. More stuff in here. And then the shower, we kind of got set up. Shampoo, conditioner, whatnots. And... Ooh, new shower head too. Oh yeah, you swapped that out. Yep, so we did the Oxygenics big old honking mm -hmm. shower head mm -hmm. to help get a little more water pressure. And then on top of that, also help conserve some hot water more than anything. Yes, so. Are you going to the um, left or are you going? These, we're going to put towels in here. Um, we didn't bring those over just quite yet, just bare necessities a little bit. Um, and then down here we have some extra storage and medicine cabinet. All right. And it's dark back here. Are you scared? <laughs> All right. Now. Dump, dump, dump. We pack this full. <laughs> We're testing our weight limits. So, well, go ahead. So, clothes, hats, and more clothes. And you get down there, shoes, all kinds of good stuff. This, there's not, there's not empty space in here. Yeah. And if you thought there was, then we put it in here. So. This is actually why we wanted the combo washer dryer instead mm -hmm. of the stackable, because it enabled us to get a little bit more storage. Again, we're coming mm -hmm. from a almost 2,000 square foot house. Leave that open for that. Oh, that we've had to ourselves for a decade. Right. And so this is actually us condensing by probably, <laughs> this is probably 1 16th of everything I wore clothes-wise, if not less. Yes. So I will say, though, considering, mm -hmm. leave it open. Oh, dear goodness. Okay. And just get out of the way. Between that mm -hmm. and that. That's actually a pretty good amount of storage. It and really is. That's all Lauren's. And then Lauren's kind of takes over from here over. Mm -hmm. And then I'm everything to the left. And then yes. I've got some stuff stacked over there, like right. all of our camera gears down there. Mm -hmm. And just T-shirts and caps up top and all that. And then we're not showing you what's in those drawers because those are da da duns <laughs> Socks are in my top one if you care. <laughs> and then under the bed, we so, got a little bit more storage. Yeah, um, it's a work in progress. It is, but we got some hats and scarves and more shoes and more equipment, just stuff that didn't quite fit anywhere else. And then when you thought you were done with storage, all right, y'all, I'm new to RV life. You're going to have to give me a minute because these are all my shoes that didn't fit in the closet. <laughs> yeah, she has two pairs of Crocs. <laughs> so that was a lot of work, but we're making progress there. So that's kind of the gist of what... Mm -hmm. We've done this week. It's a lot. <laughs> One laundry basket at a time. Brought it over, see if yep. it would fit, and then keep going. Why don't we give them one last house update while we're at it, as far as where it's at in the process? Hmm. We have been on the market for what? It's twofold. This is the real estate side. Oh, yes. So we have been on the market for 24 hours-ish now. Mm -hmm. We have an open house in a day and a half. We have four showing scheduled and we have one full price offer yeah we have sight unseen offer sight unseen and i will say that's all during we mm -hmm. got a little bit of an, a mini ice storm right schools um, were closed it was kind of treacherous to get out yeah it wasn't awful but and it'll be gone by tomorrow afternoon yeah. but like mm -hmm. she worked from home today so that's mm -hmm. what enabled us to kind of get a lot of the stuff done so the fact mm -hmm. that nobody could even come look at it today right. so mm -hmm. it's our real estate agent even said that's kind of impressive considering so we're happy with that Yep. Um, but then, otherwise, just cleaning up and cleaning yeah. up. It's mm -hmm. trying to get stuff in here and then dealing with the aftermath in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the closet. Um, yeah. So 
Like I said, this is probably the last time you'll see the rig, obviously, mm -hmm. in the next couple of trips, but we're not going to go into detail about where, why, how, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's just kind of the preview of how we're making it ours and not just, yeah. if you're curious what this rig lo looks mm -hmm. like, site, you know, kind of not us not touching anything. Mm -hmm. We did shoot that video with Hunter up at McLean's yes, and Sanger. Did. Check that out for a blank slate. Yep. Uh, and then the next time we shoot a video in here, mm -hmm. that's a full on video in here, we will show you where everything is. We're going on our first actual camping trip. So. Yep. A little bit of a shakedown, a little bit mm -hmm. of a get get out of here. Really, we just haven't hooked this up and towed it and set it up very much. So, and really, the realtor needs to host our open house and we have to leave. So, that is the benefit of having it now and not later. <laughs> is we can just load and go. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And she said, "Don't come back till Sunday afternoon." We said, "Okay." Okay. Um, pups are going, so yeah. it's their first time. All of them in there. We're still yeah. having some challenges with Klondike, as you've seen earlier in this video. We'll get there one day. We'll we're getting there. there. So, but yeah, so we will pick this back up tomorrow and for mm -hmm. you guys that'll be next week mm -hmm. and we'll get to do a little adventure stuff this time finally hopefully it doesn't rain too bad <laughs> uh, that's right so wish us luck our first first trip yeah if you don't see a video we hit stuff <laughs> don't put that doo -doo on me ricky bobby wrap her up all right so we will see you next sunday at five as always mm -hmm. this time from twin Coast, a little adventure bye mom <laughs>